In class, your teacher is definitely going to talk about the five number summary as well as the box and whisker diagram. These are very easy concepts and that's what I'm going to explain in this lesson. So the five number summary is simply the following. It's the minimum value. It's the lower quarter, sometimes called Q1. It's the median value. Remember median, small, median, large. Median is the number that is halfway. And then the upper quarter or quartile, that's usually called Q3, and then the maximum value. So the minimum value for this sequence that is given over here would be 8. Okay, so I'm just going to say here minimum is 8. The lower quarter, remember quarter is n plus 1 over 4. So the num n is the number of values, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 plus 1 over 4, which is 2.5. That's not the answer, that's the position. So you go to position 2.5, which is somewhere between these two. So you say 11 plus 14, which is 25, divided by 2, which is 12 and a half. So Q1, which is your lower quarter, is 12 and a half. Then we need the median. Now, of course, with the median, you could use elimination where you cross out like that, like that, like that. But the more mathematical way to do it, and the better way, is just to say n plus 1 over 2. Remember, median is half, so you want to share it, or you want to divide it by 2. So n is the number of values that we have, which is 9. So we say 9 plus 1 over 2, so it's 10 divided by 2, which is 5. That's not the answer. You go to position 5, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. So the fifth value is 19. So the median is 19. Some teachers even call the median Q2 because wouldn't you agree that if you have a pizza that is cut into four quarters, if you color in two quarters, that's the same as coloring in a half. Now we're going to find the upper quarter. So that's n plus 1 over 4. So you divide it into quarters, but then you times that answer by 3. So that's going to be 3 times by 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 divided by 4. If you do that on the calculator, you get 7.5. So you go to position 7.5. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8 would have been that one. So you take the number that is exactly between those two, which is going to be 27. The way I do that is I add them together, and then I divide them by 2. So Q3, which is your upper quarter, is going to be 27. And then the last thing we need is the maximum value, which is 40. And so if you are ever asked for the five number summary, well, that's it. Now we can use the five number summary and we can draw something called a box and whisker diagram. Very important, you want to use a ruler when doing this. So I'm not going to squeeze this in with a ruler because I've gone and I've chosen numbers that are... So the numbers I've chosen are going to be a little bit big. So I'm not going to do it with a ruler just for... Because I just want to save a bit of time. But what you would do is you could start at the... You could start your ruler at the zero position and you could put the eight over there. Then your next value that, oh, and then you need to go all the way to 40, so we can go all the way through to 40. Then you would put Q1, which is 12 and a half, which would be somewhere over here. So that's 12.5. Then the median value is 19, which is about here. Q3 is 27, so that's about here. And then your maximum value is 40. Then these middle three, you want to connect them like that. And that's it. That is called a box and whisker. So you've got the box, which is this part over here, and then you've got the two whiskers, which are these parts on the side. Then your teacher might ask you, is this data skewed to the right, skewed to the left? Don't even stress about what that means, really. All you need to know is the, the longer whisker is on the right-hand side, so we will just say skew to the right. And that's it for this lesson. So guys, the five number summary, it's your minimum, your lower quarter, which is Q1, which is calculated with n plus 1 over 4. Your median, which is n plus 1 over 2. Your upper quarter, which is n plus 1 over 4, but then you times that by 3. And then your minimum and maximum are obviously very easy to do. Then you want to do it with a ruler, because if you don't do it with a ruler, your graph's always going to look like this. You're going to make it look perfectly balanced. But when you do it on a ruler, then you are able to see exactly what it looks like, if it's longer on that side or on that side. Okay, perfect.